Hello and welcome to this segment of graphing sinusoidal functions using key points. Now let's do a problem. Graphing y equals 2 times the sine of negative pi over 2x. And we want to use the key points to graph this function. Now the solution is that since the sine function is an i function, we can use the equivalent form of this here, negative 2 sine of pi over 2x, as you see. And let's talk about the steps now. Step 1, comparing y is equal to negative 2 sine uh, of uh, pi over 2x to y is equal to a times the sine of omega of omega x, we find that a is equal to negative 2, you see, and omega is equal to what? Pi over 2. Now the amplitude is the absolute value of a, and in this case is negative, the absolute value of negative 2, which is 2. And the period, as you see, is t is equal to 2 pi divided by omega. And so when we do the math, 2 pi is divided by what? Pi over 2, and, if, and it'll give you a solution of 4. So that period for this function will be 4. Now, when we graph y is equal to negative 2 sine pi over 2x, it will lie between negative 2 and 2 on the y-axis. So that means all those values will lie between these points here on the y-axis. Now, the one cycle will begin at x is equal to 0, 2, x is equal to 4. Now, step 2, we want to divide the interval 0 to 4 here into 4 sub-intervals. You see this? Because we talked about this in the last video, though. And then we're talking about it again and go a little bit more in detail. And for, for each of the four intervals, each of the length is 4 divided by 4, which it will be equal to 1. Now, the x coordinates of 5 key points are, as you look, 0, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, and 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 and 3 plus 1 is equal to 4, respectively. Now, this is the first x-coordinate. This is the second x-coordinate, the third x-coordinate, fourth x-coordinate, and the fifth x-coordinate. OK? Let's ingest this a little bit and try to understand this. If you need to pause the video and just uh, gather your thoughts and take notes, fantastic. Step three, since y is equal to negative 2 sine uh, pi over 2x, we multiply the five key points of figure one by the amplitude a is equal to negative 2. Now look at this. This is figure one right here. So what's taking place and what's happening is, is that we take negative 2, the amplitude, and we multiply by zero, we get zero right here in this place here, in this position. If we take the amplitude again, negative two, and times it by this y-coordinate, one, this will equal to what? Negative two, as this is in this position right here. We do it again and say negative two, times zero, which will give you zero, will give it this position, this zero in this position right here. And then when we go with negative two times negative one, that'll give you a positive two, which is here in this position right here. And then again, one more time, negative two times zero, which will be what? Zero will give you this zero in this position right here. Now, that's step three of getting our points right here. Now, step four, let's plot the five points and fill in the graph 
of the sine function as shown in figure two, as you see right here, and extending the graph as shown in what? Figure three right here as well. So you see these points here, and of course in the graph, and also you see these points in this graph, how they are what? Extended, of course. This being the period here, period four, and of course, period four here like this, but you're extending the way the graph of negative infinity and also to these points and from uh, these points to positive infinity, if you will. So, as you see, this is how we do a version of this type of problem. Let's go to the board over here and do another type of problem. And basically, now this time, we're going to graph a cosine function. So let's look at this. We want to graph the sinusoidal graphs using key points. But we're going to graph y is equal to negative 4 cosine pi times x minus 2. Oh, there's something very significant about that. Right? It's going to be a vertical shift, is it not? Right? So we'll look at that as we go along. First, what we're going to do, basically, is begin graphing a y is equal to negative 4 cosine pi times x minus 2. And comparing just this part, right, uh, y is equal to uh, negative 4 cosine pi times x with y is equal to a times cosine omega times x, right? And we find that a in this particular situation is negative 4. And that omega is pi. Now, the amplitude, again, is this absolute value of a, which is equal to negative 4 in this case. But the absolute value of negative 4 is 4. And the period, t is equal to what? 2 in this case. So 2 pi divided by omega, which is 2 pi divided by pi, which is going to give you a period of 2. Now. The graph of y is equal to negative 4 cosine pi times x will lie between what? Negative 4 and positive 4, which are all the values that are lie between that on the y-axis. And one cycle will begin at x is equal to 0. And, the, and it will end at x is equal to 2. Now, we can divide the intervals from 0 to 2 into what? into four sub-intervals. So each length will be 2 divided by 4, which will be equal to 1 half. So the x-coordinate of the five key points are 0, which is the first x-coordinate. 0 plus 1 half is equal to 1 half, which is the second x-coordinate. 1 half plus 1 half, which is equal to 1, which is the third x-coordinate. And 1 plus 1 half is equal to 3 halves, which is the fourth x coordinate. And 3 halves plus 1 over 2 is equal to 2. That's the fifth x coordinate. Now, again, since y is equal to negative 4 cosine pi times x, we multiply the y coordinates of the five points of y is equal to cosine x shown in figure what? Figure 4. And figure four is well over there on that board. So let's take a shot of that graph. We're multiplying the y coordinates by the amplitude of negative four, just like we did the cosine function there. Right? So now we look at the five key points on the graph of this function. And here we have zero, negative four, one half, zero, one and four, these points, and three halves, zero and 2 and negative 4. And we want to plot these points and fill in the graph of the cosine function as shown in what? Figure A. This is figure A. And extending the graph in each direction, we obtain it right here in figure B. And the graph of y is equal to negative 4 cosine pi times x has a vertical shift. Now watch this a second here. Now we have an amplitude here of what? Uh, negative 4 to 4. However, 
when we actually subtract two from the actual function here, as you see, it's going to shift this down a little bit. So it's going to shift this down, as you see right here, this now is like an amplitude here, kind of, sort of, here. That, is, that become that right there, the graph will vertically shift to two, and this will shift to negative six because of this being subtracted from uh, this function. So we see that. Now, this is, of course, figure A, this is figure B, and of course, this is figure C. Take time, copy the notes, stop the video, or pause the video, and copy notes, and read it thoroughly, and try to uh, gather up the information and get a great understanding. And of course, we'll go over some more of these problems in class, but in the meantime, we will conclude this video, and we'll have more videos to come.